Hey everyone! So today I'm here to review the Bite Beauty Luminous Creme Lipstick Duos. They individually retail for $12 US, $15 in Canada, and are available in four tubes, each containing two shades that are 0.05 ounces each. Although these deluxe duos are limited edition, some of the shades are available in the permanent line. They are exclusive to Sephora and said to be limited edition Luminous Creme Lipstick Duos in head-turning hues and packaged in bright red ornaments for the holiday season. Retsina is described as a natural pink, musk is described as a pink brown, fig is described as a nude rose, date is described as a light brown nude, violet is described as a vibrant purple, palomino is described as a vibrant magenta, poppy is described as an apple red, and scarlet is described as a deep burgundy. The regular luminous creme lipsticks retail for $24 US, $28 in Canada, and contain 0.15 ounces of product. So with that said, each duo contains $16 US or $19 Canadian worth of product. You are getting a good value as you are going to need to try two shades for half the price of a regular full-sized single tube. As I always start my Bite reviews off with, if you are new to the brand, here are some facts about them. Bite Beauty is exclusive to Sephora and all of their products are free of synthetics, polybutenes and petroleum byproducts. All of their lip products are made with nurturing food grade ingredients that are healthy enough to eat because the founder believes you eat what you put on your lips, therefore your lipstick should be good for you. The packaging is a matte black double-ended tube with a silicone texture. These lipsticks have a slight citrus scent that can be noticed on initial application and the caps feature the name of the product which my biggest concern is accidentally switching them up and confusing the shades. I really like the idea of a double-ended tube, it's a lot more convenient than just individual little single bullet lipsticks. However, I do wish that you had the option to pop them apart and mix and match to make your own custom shade combinations. If you happen to buy a couple of the duos, of course. Retsina is a light nude beige with neutral undertones and a luminous finish. This shade applied smoothly, opaque, but lightly moved around due to the creamy consistency. I also found that the pale nature of this lipstick emphasized any dry patches or imperfections on my lips. But it was lightly hydrating when worn and lasted 4 hours before fading. Musk is a light to medium rose beige with warm to neutral undertones and a luminous finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, opaque, and had good pigmentation. I can definitely see Musk being one of those shades that are my lip color but better for a lot of people. It was lightly hydrating when worn and lasted 4 hours before fading. Fig is a light to medium pink nude with warm undertones and a luminous cream finish. It is also the shade I am currently wearing. This shade applied smoothly, mostly opaque, and had good color payoff. I found that the natural pigmentation of my lips did show through in some areas, but it didn't make the lipstick look uneven at all. Fig wore well for 4 hours and was lightly hydrating. Date is a light to medium muted brown nude with warm undertones and a luminous finish. This shade applied smoothly, mostly opaque, and had good pigmentation. It was lightly drying over time and lasted 4 hours before fading. Violet is a vivid magenta fuchsia with cool undertones and a luminous cream finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, fully opaque, and had great pigmentation. I did find that this lipstick feathered slightly, and it also moved around due to the creamier consistency. So you might want to pair this lipstick with a a lip liner if feathering is an issue for you. Violet wore well for four and a half hours and left behind a stain. Palomino is a vivid fuchsia red with warm undertones and a luminous cream finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, fully opaque, and had great pigmentation. Again, I found that this lipstick feathered slightly and it did move around due to the creamier consistency. So again, if you have an issue with feathering, you may want to pair this lipstick with a lip pencil. Palomino also wore well for four and a half hours and left behind a stain. Poppy is a medium bright red with cool undertones and a luminous cream finish. This shade applied smoothly, mostly even. I found that it did feather and it did move around due to the creamier consistency. The color was uneven in some areas and it almost looked streaky at times. So pairing this specific shade with a lip pencil would probably be best. Poppy wore well for four hours and left behind a stain. Scarlet is a medium to dark burgundy with warm undertones and a luminous cream finish. This shade applied smoothly, semi-opaque, and uneven in some areas. I noticed that the color lightly settled into the fine lines of my 
lips, and it appeared more sheared out on the smoother surfaces of my lips. But this may have been influenced due to applying this lipstick with a lip brush instead of straight out of the tube, because this lipstick actually broke during testing, which is my very first experience with a bite lipstick breaking on me. So the very first swatch that I tried to do on my arm, the lipstick broke, so I managed to melt it down into a sample jar and apply it with a lip brush. So all is not lost, but the performance may have been affected due to the fact that it broke and I had to apply it with a lip brush instead of straight out of the tube like the rest of them. Regardless, Scarlet wore well for three and a half hours and left behind a stain. So overall, while I am a huge fan of the Luminous Creme lipstick formula, some of the shades were disappointing. Mainly just the Poppy and Scarlet duo. The performance of them, those specific shades, just wasn't the same. But those shades aside, the formula is creamy, opaque, have good pigmentation, and are lightly hydrating during wear. Bite tends to release these dual-ended lipsticks quite often, but if for some reason you've missed your chance to pick any of these up, the permanent line of the full size lipsticks is definitely worth checking out. The Bite Beauty Mix and Mingle Mini Holiday Collection also featured deluxe sizes of their matte creme lip crayons. So if you're interested in seeing my review on those, feel free to click this thumbnail and go and check them out. Those ones are also phenomenal. I really love Bite's lipsticks. They are one of my favorite brands. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if you've tried the Luminous Creme lipsticks, what your favorite shades are, or if they'd be a product you'd be interested in checking checking out. As always, don't forget to check out my blog for more details, photos, and swatches, as well as like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to give me a follow, I will have all of my social media links listed here, as well as down in the description. As I always say, I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for watching.